Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a single Genoese paracord bracelet. I'm going to use pink and purple today. I have about six feet of each color and I am going to make about a six inch long bracelet with a buckle. First step, we want to go ahead and take our two pieces here and fuse them together into one. Just roll this out between your fingers quickly, careful not to burn yourself. And I already took my other ends here and I also did the same thing. I sealed them. It just prevents any fraying while we're working. Okay, so we're going to take one end of our buckle. It doesn't matter which one you use to start with. And we're going to go down through. Bring this up over. And I'm going to have the top be purple, so I'm going to pull this slightly off center like that. And then you want to bring this down over. This is your basic um, cow's hitch. Like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my ends and bring them back up through the center again so I can cover all of this base here. So you just want to go ahead and separate that. Take your ends and bring them back up through this. And underneath this top loop. just like that and pull all of our cord through and just adjust it as needed to make sure that we have all purple showing at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and just put this right into my jig that I like to use when I'm working. Take the bottom buckle and also put it in here like that. Now take all of your cord and pull it through to make sure that it's not going to twist. And we'll go down through the buckle. And if it, it did twist, you just untwist it. Now we'll do the same thing to fill up the buckle here. I'm going to separate these. And we'll take the purple and just put it through one more time. Like that. And then move everything over to the left. And we'll take our pink and just put it down through as well. I don't like how I did that. I'm sorry. Okay. 
we want our working end to be on the outside here. Let's try that one more time. There we go, like that. So at this point, this is what you should have, something that looks like that. Now this is the side we're gonna start working with, so I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this right around. And I just wanna make sure you can see what I'm doing here. So we're gonna start doing the single Genoese. Very simple, you'll take either end, doesn't matter which one, I'm gonna pick purple. You make a loop, bring this over, go underneath the center cords and pull through your cord, or through your hole, I'm sorry, and bring this tight. Okay, you wanna make any adjustments to pull out any slack there. Now we'll repeat this with our pink, make a loop over the center, wrap it around underneath, and pull this through. And again, make this nice and tight. The first couple of knots that you make will be the hardest ones, but once you get those nice and tight, then you're good to go. And you'll just repeat alternating sides. So again, over, underneath the center, and pull through. And as we continue to do this, you'll start to see this pattern develop. Over, underneath the center, and pull through your hole. Make sure that you use the same amount of pull every time so that your bracelet doesn't come out um, lopsided or crooked or anything like that. Okay, again over underneath the center and pull up through and give it a nice little tight. The good thing about this if you see it's kind of getting too loose or too tight you can adjust as you're working. I like that a lot. So I'm gonna keep doing this and then once I reach the bottom I will show you how to finish the bracelet and tie it off. Also just so you know um, in the description below I'll leave a list of materials in case um, you're new to paracord and you aren't sure where to get supplies, I'll include some material lists and links to where you can find the products. Now as you're watching all of this, if it comes to mind that maybe this seems like too much work and you'd prefer to just buy your bracelet already made, I will mention that we have an awesome new shop on Facebook, uh, also called Jurassic Styles, where we sell our paracord bracelet and other things that we make. So you're always welcome to visit that and we'll be happy to make a bracelet for you as well, just to save you the time but it's so fun to make paracord bracelets, so I hope that you do give it a try, and I'm pretty sure you'll love it.
I think I can get about one more in there. Now, there's a couple of different ways that I've seen people finish these off. Some people do a uh, Solomon knot at the bottom. Um, I kind of don't like it because it messes up the pattern. So I was playing with this and what I found that I like is, um, you see I didn't tighten my last knot yet. Take this one and actually bring it up right through the same opening like this. And just kind of bring it down as if it was a knot and pull all of this tight like that as tight as you can see I like this much better because at least it looks like you finished the pattern all right so I'm going to take this off of my jig now and show you how to seal it off So I have my scissors and I'm going to try to get as close as I can here, but not too close. Okay. Like that. And then I'll just give this a little pull, make sure I have enough. And here we will light these. Try not to burn them because then they turn black and this is the top side of the bracelet. So just let it melt, but not too much to the point where the pink turns black. Okay, and then just take and press this down. All right, and there that's melted pretty nicely. I always like to do it just twice just to make sure I don't have any rough edges and then just kind of do like that okay so there you can see we now have a completed Genoese bracelet six inches um, so again general rule about one foot of paracord per inch I usually try to do a little bit more just to be on the safe side but you see, this is about what I had left, so a little less than a foot, or about a foot. So, there you have it.